And before I end the show, I have to warn you about the catastrophe that is unfolding all around us. Even as I say this, I know how futile this warning is because we're living this catastrophe and it'll only get worse from this point on. The earth is burning up. Maybe up until this point, this would pass as a hyperbole, but not anymore. Let me tell you why. People in Arizona are getting third degree burns by simply falling on the ground. The American state is battling a relentless heat wave. All through last week, mercury hit 46 degrees Celsius in the capital city of Phoenix. People were taken to emergency rooms with significant burns, life-threatening even. No, they had not sustained a house fire or got into an accident. All that happened was that they slipped and fell to the ground, on asphalt to be specific. There are 45 beds at the Arizona Burn Center. Every single one of them is taken. One third are occupied by patients who fell and burned themselves on ground. Some are even in the ICU. Can you even imagine? This is how bad it's become, the severity of the heat wave in Arizona. Can we even call it a heat wave anymore? The area has been hotter than ever. Asphalt ground is proving fatal for anyone whose bare skin comes into contact. Imagine that. You fall to the ground and get third degree burns. While concrete is lighter and reflects some sunlight, asphalt is unforgiving. It is dark and dense. It absorbs heat and retains it well after the sun has stopped shining. So on a hot day, a hot day such as this, asphalt can easily be 4 to 15 degrees Celsius hotter than air. When the temperature soared to 46 degrees Celsius in Phoenix, the asphalt ground was somewhere between 50 to 65 degrees Celsius. On Hot summer afternoons, it sometimes jumps to 85 degrees Celsius, 85. Of course it is burning people. It needs only a fraction of a second to give a pretty deep burn. That's what reports are saying. Doctors in Arizona are astonished by the severity of these burns. They say that these burns, such as these, occur after people survive a house fire. For people who have been on the pavement for 10 to 20 minutes, the skin gets completely destroyed, the damage can go deep down. What if someone faints due to the intense heat and lands on asphalt? We can only imagine the horror. These are third degree burns we're talking about. Patients have to go through multiple surgeries. They have to spend weeks or even months in the hospital and even after that have years of reconstructive surgery and therapy, all because of falling on the ground. In fact, even pets are sustaining burn. When dogs get back home from their daily walk, many show reluctance to stand up. Some keep licking their paws as the skin sloughs off. Who would have thought it would come down to this? But sadly, this is the reality. This is the state of the planet that we are living on. The earth is breathing fire. How long can we run away from it? It is catching up. Need I remind you of the wildfires in Greece? It has been raging on for a week now and it isn't even close to being contained. The fires were earlier confined to the mountainous interior of the Rhode Islands, but strong winds have now fanned the blaze towards the coast. Some 20,000 people, mostly tourists, have been evacuated and this happens to be the country's biggest evacuation effort in recent years. Just look at these visuals for a second. Swathes of land has been charred, buildings destroyed. Local residents are frustrated. They are teaming up to tackle the fire and this is what they had to say. It's really, it's really bad for the island, it's really bad. This is a disaster, it's a f this destroy all the islands, burn all the island. It doesn't stop. This is the bad thing, it doesn't stop. It's, there is no end in this uh, tra 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 tragedy. There's no end. This is no, when it's going to stop? Where's the help? Okay, where's the help? You see, now it's going to be in the village. All the houses, all the people that are living here, friends, it's going to be burned. Every year they say we will do. The things will be better. Nothing. Every, every summer the same. The same. Every summer. Thousands have been forced to sleep rough, either at the island's airport or in other makeshift shelters. The government of Greece is now trying to douse the flame around the clock. This is what the Prime Minister said. 
The next few days, especially today, tomorrow, Thursday, will be difficult days. After that, I hope that the conditions will help us more, and that is why we all obviously remain on high alert. Let me state the obvious, that in the face of what the entire planet is facing, especially the Mediterranean, which is a hotspot for climate change, there is no magic defence. If there was, obviously we would have implemented it. Well, the blame is quite clearly on climate change. How many more forests or humans need to burn before we do something about it? Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.